Okay, in this video, I'm going to uh, continue our discussion on graphing linear inequalities in two variables. Graph the solution set for this linear inequality. So here is our linear inequality for this example. We have 2x minus 6y is less than 12. I'm going to begin by isolating y and placing this inequality into slope-intercept form. By bringing 2x over to the right-hand side, I get negative uh, 6y is less than negative 2x plus 12. Now I have to divide both sides by negative 6 in order to isolate y. And something interesting is going to happen in this case uh, that didn't happen in the last video. Whenever you're dealing with an inequality and you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, you must flip the inequality. So as I divide both sides by negative 6, I'm going to get y, and this inequality is going to flip. It's going to be greater than, okay, it's going to negative six over, uh, negative 2 over negative 6. That would be 1 third x. And 12 divided by negative 6 would give me negative 2. Okay, and this is very, very important that you uh, flip this inequality. Okay. Now, our boundary line here is simply going to be, in this case, y equals 1 third x minus 2. So let's graph that. I have a y-intercept of negative 2. I go up 1 over 1, 2, 3. And then I just use my line tool, and we'll add a line here. Okay, and there's my boundary line. Now, I mentioned in the last video that a boundary line is solid if our inequality also includes equality. In this case, it does not. So what we need to do with our boundary line here is we need to make it a dashed boundary line. So I'll just use my little line style tool here to change that to a, a dashed boundary line which indicates that the points on this line are not a part of the solution set, they're not a part of the solution region. Okay. Now if I solve this properly right here, I can simply say, well, y is greater than this line, therefore it is above this line. So I, you know, I just can just color in okay, above this line because there is no there are no restrictions on the domain or the range uh, we have a continuous solution set so I can just color this whole thing in like so now if I want to be a hundred percent sure you'll notice that we had in here we had the point uh, zero zero okay the origin let's test that point let's test it in the original uh, equation here okay so zero 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 minus 0, is that going to be less than 12? Well, 0 is indeed less than 12. So we know that we have colored the uh, proper side of the boundary line and that our solution set is on this side right here. Okay, so we will do that in red. All right, so there's our solution set. Okay, and let's do uh, one more example in the next video.